हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी अबाउट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ कलेक्शन फ्रेमवर्क इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन व्हाट आर द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ एरेस एडवांटेजेस ऑफ कलेक्शन एंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कलेक्शन एंड कलेक्शन फ्रेमवर्क नाउ वी विल कवर डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ कलेक्शन फ्रेमवर्क द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इज कलेक्शन सो कलेक्शन इज एन इंटरफेस सबसे पहले तो आपको ये पता होना चाहिए कि कलेक्शन एक इंटरफेस है कलेक्शन इज एन इंटरफेस एंड इफ वी वॉन्ट टू रिप्रेजेंट अ ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल ऑब्जेक्ट एज ए सिंगल एंटिटी देन वी शुड गो फॉर कलेक्शन सो कलेक्शन हम कब यूज करते हैं जब हमें रिप्रेजेंट करना है ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल ऑब्जेक्ट एज ए सिंगल एंटिटी वेन वी वॉन्ट टू रिप्रेजेंट अ ग्रुप ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट एज ए सिंगल एंटिटी then we should go for collection. generally जो collection का interface है वो बाकी सारे collection framework का root interface माना जाता है तो अगर हम देखते हैं कोई भी हम अगर collection का structure देखेंगे पूरा तो जो collection interface है that is at the root. सबसे ऊपर collection interface है उससे फिर बाकी के आपके सारे interfaces derive हो रहे हैं like list एंड सो ऑन सो कलेक्शन सिट्स एट द टॉप ऑफ द हायर आर की इन द कलेक्शन फ्रेमवर्क एंड कलेक्शन इंटरफेस डिफाइंस द मोस्ट कॉमन मैथड्स विच कैन बी एप्लीकेबल फॉर एनी कलेक्शन ऑब्जेक्ट सो कलेक्शन इंटरफेस डिफाइंस मोस्ट ऑफ द मैथड्स दैट आर एप्लीकेबल टू द कलेक्शन ऑब्जेक्ट now second is list it is also an interface list is also a interface now as i have shown you here that collection is a root of the all the collection framework objects so list is derived from collection so hum yahan pe likh sakte hain collection interface then list and list is further divided or list is further sub classed in different collection objects like array list which is a class link list which is also a class and then we have vector list ve vector list vector list is also a class which is further goes in the stack so this is about collection and the list so list ko hum define kaise kar sakte hain list is a child interface of collection so agar kabhi definition puchi jati hai iski list ki to list is a child of collection interface and if you want to represent a group of individual objects where insertion order is preserved so list is used when insertion order has to be preserved so if you want to represent a group of objects as a single entity where insertion order is preserved and duplicates are allowed then we should go for list in this duplicates are also allowed so this is about list and the next next of the element in the collection framework is set set is an interface set is a interface now the difference in set and list is in list duplicates are allowed whereas in set duplicates are not allowed so yahan pe hum likhte hain duplicates are not allowed
एंड इंसर्शन ऑर्डर इज ऑल्सो नॉट प्रिजर्व सो इफ वी वॉन्ट टू रिप्रेजेंट ए ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल ऑब्जेक्ट वे डुप्लीकेट्स आर नॉट अलाउड एंड इंसर्शन ऑर्डर इज ऑल्सो नॉट प्रिजर्व देन वी शुड गो फॉर सेट नाउ सेट इज ऑल्सो ए चाइल्ड ऑफ कलेक्शन इंटरफेस सो अगर इसके हम हर आर के देखेंगे तो कैसे आएगा कलेक्शन then from collection वन we are getting list then there is set and in the set we have further hierarchy like hash set and from hash set we have linked hash set so this is an interface hash set is a class and linked hash set is also a class these are actually available in different java versions like this is in 1.4 version this is 1.2 1.2 and so on next is the sorted set sorted set is also an interface sorted set is also an interface it is actually a child of it is a child of set interface so sorted interface ka jo child hai uh, sorry set interface ka child hai sorted set and in this sorted set we have further division like navigation navigable set and then tree set so sorted set is a child of set if you want to represent a group of individual objects according to according to some sorting order then we should go for sorted set it is pretty very much clear from the name itself that in this the elements or objects are represented in some sorting order the next is navigable set which is a child of sorted set and it is basically used to provide it is basically used to provide se several methods for navigable process so it is used to provide several methods for navigable navigable process several methods for navigable process it is also an interface and introduced in the 1.6 version ye ra ye hai sorted set ka child now we will see about queues which is a very important data structure element queues are also implemented as interface in java collection framework queues are child of collection queues are child of collection so agar iski hierarchy dekhte hain to hierarchy aise rahegi iski collection collection mein aata hai aapka queue then in queue we have different types of queue jo aapne data structure mein padha hoga जैसे प्रायोरिटी क्यू देन वी हैव ब्लॉकिंग क्यू एंड सो ऑन दिस इज द हेरार की नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिप्रेजेंट ए ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल ऑब्जेक्ट्स प्रायर टू प्रोसेसिंग देन वी शुड गो फॉर क्यू सो इट इज बेसिकली यूज फॉर स्टोरिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट्स if we need them prior to processing so this is queue next is maps maps are also interface these are also the interface 
and if you want to represent a group of objects as key value pairs agar hum objects ko key aur value ke pair mein represent karna chahte hain to hame maps ka use karna hai both key and values are objects so key is also an object and value is also an object duplicate keys are not allowed so in this you need to note down this duplicate keys are not allowed in this in the maps but keys duplicate nahi ho sakti but values can be duplicated it is much much uh, much like the primary key concept where the primary key should be unique but the value associated to the primary key can be same for two different primary keys now in the maps the hierarchy is like this there are different types of map that you can use hash map is there then we have hash table in the hash map we have linked hash map and so on so there are different types of interfaces and classes present in the map interface next is sorted map which is also an interface agar hame key value pairs ko kisi sorting order mein represent karna hai to sorted map ka hum use karenge so it is basically a same but key value space should be in some sorting order to hum sorted map ka use karenge now sorting kiske base pe karenge sorting should be done on the basis of keys तो जो सॉर्टिंग होगी वो होगी की बेस सॉर्टिंग शुड बी एंड सॉर्टेड मैप इज अ चाइल्ड ऑफ दिस मैप इंटरफेस सॉर्टेड मैप इज अ चाइल्ड ऑफ मैप इंटरफेस नेक्स्ट और लास्ट इज नेविगेबल मैप इट इज अ चाइल्ड इंटरफेस ऑफ सॉर्टेड मैप it is a child interface of sorted map and defined several methods for navigable process so agar hum pure collection ki summary dekhte hain ek bar hierarchy mein to wo kuch aise banegi summary of collection will be drawn like this at the top we have collection from collection we have different interface like list set and queue map is different so hum map ka yahan pe ek alag se bana lete hain map mein aapka aa jayega sorted map then from sorted map we have navigable map then in the list we have different like array list we have vector list and so on vector list mein aapka stack bhi aa jayega in set we can have hash set sorted set aur sorted set ke niche navigable set in the hash set we can have linked hash set and then we have queues queues mein priority queue blocking queue and so on so if there is a question in the theory exams that write a short not on java collection framework then what you can do is you can draw this complete hierarchy and then you can explain the list with the points set with the points that i have discussed in the lecture queue and map with those points so it will be a 
more useful if you draw and explain the question like this in the future in the coming videos we will see most of the collection classes by the use of programming like array list stack queue maps etc thank you for watching the video please subscribe to the youtube channel for more tutorials on java and other computer science related subjects thank you